Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 24H2 because of this error that is 0x800700b7. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, try to pause the update. You can go to Windows update. Over here, you can see pause the update option. So you can pause the update. Now, once you pause the update, you will see resume updates at the top. Click on resume updates. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you can check. Now, it's still not working. In that case, you can go to system and then scroll down. Over here, you can see recovery option. Click on recovery. Now, over here, you can see the option which says fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So this process will take some time. So click on reinstall now. And once that is done, you can check. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to start app readiness service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now over here you can see app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness and then set the startup type to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. And now you can try to update your Windows 11. Still not working. The next step is to move this folder to different location. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Over here you can see win re agent folder. Now if you don't see this folder on the top, click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see this folder but still if you don't have this folder you can skip this step you can follow the next step but if you have this folder you can just copy this folder and then you can paste it you can create a backup first maybe you can paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup now you can delete this folder now once this is deleted now you can open windows settings and then you can update your windows 11. now once the update is complete restart your computer so if the update is successful restart your computer and after the system restart you can put this folder back to the c drive so if you want you can put it back and once this is back now still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open windows settings and then go to system and then go to troubleshoot and over here you can click on other troubleshooters and then here you can see windows update click on run and let the troubleshoot complete once the troubleshoot is complete you can restart your computer and then update your windows 11 and then check still not working restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then go to services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with windows update selected over here now make a right click and then click on restart or start now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now make a right click on background intelligent transfer service and then click on restart or start now you can try to update your windows 11 and then check now it's still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file now click on yes to allow now if there is any update over here you will see the install option or update option in my case it's already up to date so if you see update or install install it using windows 11 installation installation assistant and then check now the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands. these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here now once you copy it now open notepad on your computer and then in the notepad you can paste all the command and then go to file on the top click on save as and then you can name this file as wufix.bat and for 
save as type you can select all files and you can set the location to desktop save it now you can go to desktop here you can see wu fix file make a right click make a right click on wu fix and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete first first of all it will stop all the windows update component and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time this process will take some time once all the scans are complete it will restart all the windows update component and once this is done you can restart your computer but let the process complete first once it is done then restart your computer and after the system restart you can update your windows 11 and then check now still not working the last step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 to version 24 h2 and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel